Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good Sagittarius. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is coming towards you Sagittarius. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. This is for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you. Look at that. This is you. Look at that. Thank you so much Sagittarius for supporting the channel. I am back here. Um, I'm home. I am back at home and I miss my studio and I miss reading. I miss vlogging. To be honest with you guys, I was out and about, but all I can think of is my vlog. I feel like there's so much message to deliver. Yeah, spiritual message to deliver. I've also told this to Sagittarius. But you know, sometimes I needed to take a break. So for those of you who has view, viewed my replays, thank you so much. It helped me um, a lot with analytics. So thank you, Sagittarius. Um, okay, so I have so much to deliver. I'm doing this reading full moon in Capricorn. Let's see what is your guided message, okay? What can I get for my Sagittarius sign? Thank you guys for your support, for your patience. Um, five of Wands. Who who is this person? What's coming towards you guys? This I'm doing this on the day of the Capricorn full moon. What can I get for the Sagittarius sign? There's so much to deliver. There's so much message. I couldn't stop thinking about my vlog and the message I need to deliver yeah oh wow the will of fortune what can i get for the sagittarius sign you probably guys are thinking about me <laughs> okay all right let's start your reading sagittarius you have a five of wands oopsie this five of wands this is a conflict okay a conflict of interest you could be dealing with the five of wands this is a conflict of interest it could be it's a situation where you like it, you want it, but you and this person or situation, you guys don't know how to work things out, okay? The situation is a five of wands. Um, this five of wands, I don't think it's a breakup, you know? I don't think it's, I don't think there's an ending, but there's a conflict, okay? The five of wands, there's a conflict between the two of you. It's next, you know, the five of wands is next to a temperance card. And if you look at the temperance card, it is so beautiful. Look at that. It's like there is an existing conflict. There's an existing unfinished conversation. Unfinished business. And although it's unfinished conversation, unfinished business, although there's a conflict, it's one thing to understand the conflict okay um and i'm hearing and picking up a vibe that whoever you're thinking this is this person like if i the way i describe it and you have someone in your mind that's this person if you look at the five of wands this is a conflict okay this person and yourself or this person and the situation and there's a conflict look at that it's like more of they want to talk they want to be together but there's a lot of staggered passion okay um there's a conflict of passion it's like um i like you i want you i want to work things out but i don't know how to do it they probably don't know how to do it or there's a there's something misleading on how to work things out it's next to a beautiful card the temperance card i like that the temperance card is here because you might not hear from them. They might not be communicative, but they're not giving up. Okay. Um, how can they give up? I'm hearing the word. They wouldn't give up. You're so beautiful. Your connection is so special. Your situation is beautiful. You are so beautiful, Sagittarius. You are an energy or a conflict that they would keep. Okay. Like, um, it's a it's a person a situation where Sagittarius you are complicated 
our thing is complicated but I would keep you even though you're complicated until I find I figure out an answer with a C wow you know this could be a situation in the past or it could be happening right now but someone is like you're stubborn Sagittarius I have a conflict with you you have a conflict with me we have a misunderstanding we have unfinished business um, we're not talking right now but I am committed to keep you in spite of the conflict and I'm committed to find an understanding Wow <laughs> someone someone is quiet someone is thinking someone is feeling it's like this person situation looks at you and they're confident that even though you and I are in conflict you and I are not in conversation I'm figuring it out how to remove the conflict but I'm not gonna going to remove you look at that I don't think you know this Sagittarius I don't think you're aware that someone out there who you have some unfinished business conflict of interest they're quiet but they're thinking this person is quiet but they're thinking how to keep it going with you they're committed to keep you even though you're complicated or your situation is complicated with the influence of the Capricorn full moon this person you know what Sagittarius okay just listen to me I'm downloading the energy you know what Sagittarius with the influence of the Capricorn full moon this person is committed in the past when they think of you when they think of your situation it's complicated it's not easy but they were not committed or they were intimidated because of whatever issue between the two of you like someone is like okay I don't want to take a risk because it's complicated they were so focused on the things that wouldn't work out versus how it's gonna work out with the influence of the Capricorn full moon someone out there because I think you were willing to take a risk okay I could feel that you're willing to take a risk this person it's like a delayed reaction from now from the Capricorn full moon moving towards the immediate future this person is now committed to take a risk look at that they're so proud okay I know how to make it work they're quiet but they're looking into I know how to make it work look at that they're confident they could make it work whoever this person is they're now know how to stay and fix the issue it's like a it's like an energetic reading where they thought it wasn't practical they thought it was not doable but with the Capricorn full moon it's influencing them that you know what you have to embrace this conflict because you're gonna get the solution and they're they're willing to do that the connecting energy between the two of you is the nine of swords I like the nine of swords in here I like it look so look at this person this person is looking at the ace of swords this person is not bothered about this or that they're very focused with a solution okay someone you thought gave up someone who you thought was not willing to take a risk is now looking into looking into committing hey let's do it Capricorn could be Capricorn um, but it is real time Ooh, look at that the moon card Wow this person is feeling the emotions Wow this is such a full moon reading look at that someone out there is thinking heavy of you and how
Yeah, they're thinking of you, Sagittarius. Someone is thinking of you and is now willing to take a risk. It's more of a vibe where, why did I not take a risk with you, Sagittarius? Why did I give up on you and me? I'm forgetting that you are a queen of wands. And if I ever take a risk or you're so worth it, someone is into their feelings and someone is realizing that if they have exhausted their resources, you are worth it. You, Someone is realizing you're worth it right now is committed to show you that you're worth it. Okay, this is a full moon. Look at that. The moon is influencing seven. The moon is influencing someone out there who you should have committed, even though it, even though it's not perfect. You know, nothing is gonna be perfect. But if someone is willing to try, take a risk, it will work out. In the past, they weren't. Maybe recently, but right now, under the influence of this beautiful Capricorn full moon, this person is. They're going to take a chance, like a greater. I'm really picking up like this person. They will take a chance, a greater chance. Take a greater leap of fate. They will call you. They will call you. Whoever this person is right now, they're willing to be your person in spite of the conflict. They're willing to take a chance, take a greater leap of fate. They want to call you and they're ready to grow, maintain you, including the conflict, <laughs> multiply with you and to keep you. Wow. So someone is into this right now. You just wait. They'll call you. I'm hearing the word. They're going to call you or contact you that's good okay now what else is your message Sagittarius um the Emperor so the Emperor the page of swords the tower card the second reading is about you okay I feel like the Emperor card in the page of swords there's something about managing my like somehow about um, this could be like a conversation to yourself the Emperor card the page of swords I feel like Sagittarius there's something that you need to listen before you react with the Emperor card in the page of swords in here you know the Emperor card this is self-esteem like the Emperor card very confident self-esteem don't let them get into you because this page of swords it looks like a challenge like if you look at this page of swords it's challenging an emperor so someone is challenging you and they're just a baby okay it could be connected to work it could be connected to friendship it could be your own thought okay because I'm, I'm really picking up a vibe of self-esteem self-confident and I'm also picking up like um, you're literate okay you have a lot of financial literacy professional personal literacy like I'm picking up the word you're very experienced in literate okay maybe it's because it's reminding you that this is just a baby Whoever is criticizing you, challenging you, they're just a baby. You have more personal and professional experience and literacy. Like it could be literally, if you look at your experience, they're below you. So what they say, it doesn't even matter because you're already an emperor. Okay, so don't let, don't let someone, don't let one basher, one maybe hater um discontinue or affect your confident or self-esteem don't 
allow one person to remove you from the emperor energy because the page of swords there's a tower card in here so look your higher self your higher self is encouraging you to keep your self-confident and self-esteem and remember your professional personal wisdom that you acquired over the years literacy i'm hearing the word literacy the tower card this is also the support from the universe okay break free like don't let this person break your heart basically whether it's personal professional you are an emperor you're unbreakable okay yeah eight of wands don't let this one person break your heart or don't let this person or situation delay you from your creative vibe from your life because you have reached a point of being an emperor like you're way too strong for this person or for this heartbreak Sagittarius you can cry you could wallow with your feelings but remember your emperor energy look at that seven of pentacles you will be able to recover you will be able to recover just remember how powerful you are okay yeah six of cups um i feel like your energetic checked in like your energy checked in is done don't the center of the reading is the page of swords and it looks it feels like a challenge don't let them get into you don't let this one person situation make you feel get up remember how powerful you are powerful you are and i'm hearing the word literacy you're more literate more experienced more beautiful don't let them delay you you will be able to come back with all of your glory look look into the past how you overcome a lot of heartbreak or criticism okay you're not perfect but you're definitely you know how to get back onto your feet okay you're being encouraged to remember who you are and how powerful you are because without doing anything you could do this to this person so easy so quick yeah um ace of wands it's time for you to ignite the emperor energy it's time for you it's time for you to spark it's time for you to remember like this is snap you're an emperor you're unbreakable look at how far you've come you know your literacy your wisdom your experience this is nothing compared from you okay remember your strength remember your power remember your wisdom remember your experience the universe is encouraging you who you are remember the super sagittarius inside of you ignite it okay because the hidden energy okay the hidden energy is the will of fortune the hidden energy is the will of fortune and the will of fortune is that move your thoughts your energy to the emperor move your thoughts your energy to a powerful person okay you are a powerful person so the will of fortune is reminding you to move your thoughts from low self-esteem to self-confident it's within you already okay I really feel like the will of fortune is just keep in mind how powerful you are we have an upcoming mercury retrograde it's around the first week of august so remember who you are um, move your thoughts to something fear less think about the past and how powerful you have become and this heartbreak you will overcome it quickly or disappointment or whoever this person is okay so will of fortune tap into good thoughts powerful feeling and so this can recalibrate and remind yourself who you are i don't know why i'm seeing i'm hearing the word old photos look at your old photos how powerful you are it reminds you 
of how powerful you are. Now, what is coming towards you in the immediate future between now up until end of December 2024? Um, you have a hermit card. You know, um, this hermit card, this person or situation, they've ghosted you or hiding or you are expecting them to message you or return to you. It will take some time. But they will show up. Okay, Knight of Wands. Like, look at this. It's like the Hermit card, it's quiet. And then suddenly the Knight of Wands. Okay, this one. Oh, Nine of Cups. You have a wish. Okay. In the immediate future, you have this wish that this person reach out. That they call you. That they message you. You will jump for joy because it's going to happen. Like this is a confirmation that what's coming towards you is a person of interest and a person you really, 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 really want to hear from them. The Nine of Wands, the Nine of Cups. Look at that. If you, It could be a Virgo. If you look at the Hermit card, there's two, it looks like two lovebirds, but in, it's in dark. Okay. And if you look at the Nine of Cups, it's white. So they will reveal they're slow but when they jump you would be happy of how available for how available they are someone is someone is hiding and thinking but they would jump out from the hermit energy to be with you and you will be happy of like there's a divine timing there's a divine timing here sagittarius which means that right now if you're not talking to them let it be they're thinking because when they're ready once they jump out from the hermit card you would love their energy it's unstoppable it's stable and it's consistent basically if they if they disappear it's because they're unstable to give you what they want once they return and jump out from this hermit you would be very happy because they're exactly the person or the situation that you want. And I'm about to see 222. Two, two. See? So just wait it out. Someone is going to impress you with their impressive return. Sagittarius, have greater fate to your destiny, to yourself. Don't let this person make you feel this way. You're powerful. You're bigger than this person. Okay, so this is your reading, guys. Thank you so much for connecting with me. Thank you so much for being here. I'll probably do a love reading in the other channel. I'll see you there. You have a great day. Bye, Sagittarius.